All right, it's my turn for dinner and we're using lots of leftovers. There's 15 of us here in this farm. And so I am making a Portuguese inspired meal with our leftovers. So let's go in the kitchen and get started on this. Okay, first of all, there I am. Hi. We're gonna go in the kitchen. Let's open the door. This is our kitchen. When you rent an entire farm, you get a farm style kitchen. So this is amazing. So let me show you all those ingredients that are um, gonna turn into this kind of vegetable lentil rice bake. We are cooking, this will be feeding 14 people for under 20 bucks, which is awesome. And uh, let's get going. All right, in the fridge. Gotta get to it. In here, we have Portuguese soup. Left of Portuguese soup, and my cousin made hamburgers yesterday. And so I just crumbled up the hamburgers and cheese and put it in this to stir. So Portuguese soup, we're really not sure what it is. It is a Portuguese sopa. So, you know, it's soup. I cut up two portobello mushrooms and three little onions, that's going in. I fried up some chorizo, they spell it chorico, but it still says chorizo, and it's much better than the Mexican version. And what's our other thing? Oh, and I bought this cut of carrots. This is for one of the carrot soups, like a puree of carrots and potatoes. But I didn't feel like kind of carrots, so I just bought this to make soup. Okay, so last time I was in Portugal, I made a delicious tomato soup, Portuguese style tomato onion soup. Lots of onion, lots of tomato. So I'm gonna give you a link above for that. So check that recipe out. And this, remember, we are making a big leftover conglomerate. I don't know what to call it, but with this many people, we have got to use everything we have. So let me show you the soup. Okay, here's our soup here. We've got some nice fat from the hamburger too. Um, so we've just got chunks of hamburger, we've got kale. Um, I'm not really sure what flavors the soup, but that's okay, it was delicious. Um, maybe I'll put that in the description and do a little more research on this soup. This is not their caldo verde, this is not their coriander soup, this is not, this is just one that's in the grocery store a lot and it just says Portuguese soup, so I'm a little confused on what exactly it is. But it has our hamburger in it too. And you can see the little pieces of cheese from the, because they were cheeseburgers. So we're just heating this up right now. We're just gonna saute our vegetables first and everything's gonna cook in this pan. So I'm just gonna put my mushrooms and onions in. Food is so reasonably priced in Portugal. If you're coming here for a trip, you will just be amazed at how reasonably priced a Portuguese trip can be once you're here. Throw all those carrots in because we need our vegetables. Oh, ouch! We are going to cook this down and get all our veggies nice and soft and add some salt and pepper. That's another thing. I don't have a lot of seasonings here because it's not my kitchen. You make do with what you have. So to fill this many people up on a meal that is basically reusing our hamburgers we had and our Portuguese soup, we are going to be adding lentils and rice and cheese and the delicious fried chorizo that I already had fried earlier. And we're going to turn this into a great Portuguese bake that is going to be absolutely incredible and that can feed a big crowd, and that's what's important right now. We had this vino verde at a restaurant the first night we were here. <laughs> it's $2 a bottle, and it's amazing. Their wine is so cheap here. So this would be like a $10 to $12 bottle of wine by us, and it's two bucks here. So you can drink lots of wine, so why not put some in our food? 
as I'm doing this, I'm getting all the brown bits off the bottom of our pan. And delicious. All right, our Portuguese soup and hamburgers are going in. And now the hard part, because I have got to put, add rice. I turned this off and I've got to add my rice and my lentils. And then I've got to guess how much water because I've already got quite a, you know, some liquid going here. So I have to kind of guess how much water I'm gonna put in for the rice and lentils to get done. We just, the knives here aren't the best. Um, I'm just gonna make do with what I have, but I did find some spinach. So I'm gonna chop this up and get this in there. You know, you eat so much bread and sausage and cheese when you're in um, Portugal. And bacalao, they're dried fish, uh, dried cod, that you just start craving vegetables. Produce is amazing, extremely cheap. It, it just, it baffles me every time I come here and I joke uh, with my family and say, it's so easy to be generous in Portugal, you know, like get up in the morning, I go to the bakery and get two fresh loaves of bread. So everyone has um, fresh toast and some bakery goods and the fresh bread, two fresh loaves, 3.20. Like basically $3.20 for two fresh loaves, big loaves of bread, um, incredible. And the Portuguese people are amazing. I've decided to roast the food in this. The oven is right below us, and I'm choosing this over this because this has a, a broader base, and this will steam a lot of the rice and, and vegetables, and we won't get as much flavor as if it's spread out, and then we'll get a great crust on top, a crispy crust. Okay, we're gonna pour this in, and then we'll have to do the hard part which is the lentils and rice in water. And then I also have to figure out some seasonings. Oh my gosh, just this alone looks amazing. Maybe I should make the rice separate. Wow. Oh my gosh. Do I have to add to it? I have what looks like two pounds of lentils. And I have some basmati rice. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook the rice separately because this is just so beautiful. It might be just better without having rice at all. While my water is boiling, or while I'm waiting for my water to boil, I'm gonna show you the grounds to this amazing, amazing farm. Okay, this is our beautiful farm we are staying in. Absolutely incredible. Kind of some rainy clouds up there, but that's all right. This is where we live in the farm. Under the arbor, our doors, there's our table. It is incredible and quiet here. Like that. Okay. I can 
always add more water. I cannot take away. So. And I'm just going to keep some water heated on the stove to add a little at a time as I need it. Okay. Whew. I could not have done that without my trusty partner. <laughs> okay, we're checking her. We're checking her. I took a little bite. Flavor's yummy. I don't think we need any more. And um, we gotta turn it down for sure. I think we're good. That was in probably 40 minutes. Ooh la la. Oh, oh. Ooh. Hot tamale. Yeah.